So anything that I'm saying, you can go look all of this up. Please actually go look it up. Because when you look it up yourself, I'm telling you, it, it just, you really like, I can't believe this. This is crazy. So the NIV, their stated main purpose, the people that, you know, wrote this translation, their stated main purpose was not to preserve the truth, but rather to publish a translation that was non-offensive to participate in religious uh denominations. So I got to stop right there. We got, we got to stop right there. Participate in religious denominations. So how many, what, who, who's writing it? That's that's the first question. Who's writing it? Shouldn't it be somebody that's uh, a Christian writing the Bible? We're not going to have Buddha write the Bible. Okay, okay, I'm going to continue. Hundreds of words, phrases, even the entire Bible verses were removed. The NIV translators removed 64,576 words as compared to the King James Bible. That's a lot of words, y'all. That's a lot of words. They removed all them words. That's probably like a whole book, actually. If you put it all together, that's a lot of words removed, completely gone. Here are some of the words that aren't even mentioned in there. Not even one time. You can't even find these words in there one time. Sodom. Oh, I'm gonna bring that up later on. That's but that's uh that's talking about you know man on man, you know homosexuality, all that stuff. So that that's not in there. Fornication, truth breakers, wine uh wine vibers, carnal, slothful, unthankful. Ephemenes, uh, backbiting, vanity, lasciviousness, wardom, devils, Lucifer. How you write a, how you take the devil out of the Bible? They, how you take the devil's name out of the Bible? What? Oh my goodness! See right here. Okay, devils, Lucifer, uh, damnation, brimstone, regeneration, mercy, uh, mercy, uh, Calvary, remission, Jehovah, immutable, uh, omnipotent, comforter, Holy Ghost. They took, they took the Holy Ghost out of the Bible. You... Quicken, inf infallible, Godhead, begotten. Yes, James, uh, John three sixteen, where it talks about uh, you know that uh, God sent His only begotten Son down here. They begotten is not even in there. It just says only Son of God. They took begotten out. So James three sixteen don't even sound the same no more. Man, this is this is crazy. Of the fifty four times hell is mentioned in the King James Bible, the NIV reduced it down to 14 times 14 times like man that's not even half that's this is i'm telling you, they can just some blasphemous stuff over here you gotta whew, you gotta pay attention so there's over 40 in all scriptures that are just gone over 40 in all just it, it's not there it's it's it just disappeared. They they removed it, and some of them it'll, it'll when you come up to it, well, you know the so right here like Matthew eighteen and eleven, it'll be removed, but then it'll tell you look at the footnotes. Like what? Why are you even reading that if it's not? Why is it not even there? It'll tell you that um the it'll tell you that the reliable early manuscripts don't they don't have it. Like oh that the they they don't have it. I'm like what do you mean you don't have it? That's that's crazy. So there's over 40 in all, but here's just a couple of them. So um, Matthew 16, 9, uh, 16, 9 through 20, all 12 verses. I'm telling you, this 12 verses is just gone. All 12 verses. There's a line separating the last 12 verses marked from the main text right under the line says the two most reliable early manuscripts do not have Mark 16, 9 through 20. That's that's crazy. How do you just not have it? They just took it straight out. And those those uh, those verses right there talk about after Jesus came back, after he even rose, you know, on the third day. That's that's what those that's what those scriptures are talking about. After that, when he went to go see Mary, went to see some of the some of the disciples, and he was talking to them, they they just took that out. I guess that wasn't important, you know. Jesus coming back, what he did after they, we don't need that. Just erase, put that in the trash. Matthew eighteen eleven completely removed. And then what they missing for the Son of Man. It's come to save that which was lost. I guess that's not important. We don't need that. Mark 11 and 26, completely removed. But if ye do, ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. I guess we don't care about forgiveness either. We're going to take that out of the Bible. Matthew 23 and 14, completely removed. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypo hypocrites, for ye uh, devour widows' houses for uh, pretense, make long prayer thereof, shall receive the greater damnation. They don't I'm telling you, they just removing stuff like they they don't even care. It's 40 in total, y'all. It's 40 in total that they just completely removed these verses and scriptures. This is crazy. Well, if you go to the the KGV, the King James Version, the, the if you go to that version and you read First Corinthians 6 through 9, it'll say, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God, but not 
but be, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. We're just talking about homosexuality. And then, however, the NIV changes it to, do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, or nor homosexual offenders. Offenders, that changes the whole context, the whole context of it. Anyone reading an NIV can easily interpret that it means that uh, it's to mean that it is acceptable to God to be Sodom. In. Remember that word that they took out? Yeah, going all the way back. They took that word out. It's not in there. Uh, to, uh, to God to be Sodom. In. So as long as you don't anger your partner in the process, then they're, they're basically saying it's okay. As long as you don't offend your sexual, homosexual, as long as the homosexual doesn't, you know, they're not, they not offending their partner, then it's okay. That's what that is. The NIV is almost basically promoting it in a sense. I'm like, oh, well, okay. Well, as long as I'm not offending them, then I can do it. That's what it's saying. Man, this stuff is, is oh man, it's really crazy. They, they, scriptures like this, verses like this, they didn't took it out. They didn't switched it up and you cannot do that. So according to Wikipedia, the New International Bible, the NIV, is the most popular Bible version today. That's the most popular one. That's the one everybody got it sold in all the stores, online and all of that. With Zondervan, which uh, publishers, which is, uh, you know, basically like the biggest website to, you know, whatever, where you buy Bibles and, you know, stuff of that nature from. They won't tell you that they are owned by HarperCollins. Well, who's Harper Collins? I don't care about that. Who also publishes the Satanic Bible in the Joy of Gay Sex? These are two Bibles. This company, Harper Collins, they publish the Satanic Bible in the Joy of Gay Sex. These are two books that they publish, and they also published in the NIV. That man, I, somebody got to scratch their head on that one. You got to scratch your head on that. Why would you want your Bible? Something that preaches against both of these Bibles. Why is it being sold by the same person? Because they didn't change it and they didn't corrupted it. Because I remember I told you the, the word Lucifer is not in this version of the Bible. So they and they didn't probably, you know, they said hell a whole bunch of less times. So people don't even see this stuff. The NIV committee was made up of over 100 people with various biblical backgrounds and doctrine beliefs. Again, why do we got somebody who believe in any old type of thing, writing a version of the Bible. If you believe in an Allah, you shouldn't be writing the Bible. If you believe in, uh, if you worship in trees and you believe in the force, that's that's your uh, religion. You shouldn't be writing no version of the Bible. No version. It's noted that uh, a, a lesbian helped write, she's one of the hundred people that helped write this Bible. Which, you know, makes sense why, you know, the joy of gay sex and all this stuff is in there. Yes, this, look it up. Look it up. I'm telling you, it's all right there. Look it up, people. 22, 18 through 19. This is one of the, this is one of the scariest verses, scriptures that, you know, I've, I've seen in the Bible. So they, they gonna get there. So let's read it real quick. <clears throat> For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, talking about the Bible, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Oh, we. And if any man shall take away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Again, Revelation 22, 18 and 19. So, man, if anybody, have you read a little bit of the Bible, especially in Exodus, them plagues that the Pharaoh endured? Oh man, them one that was no happy day right there. Them were some bad things right there. So they gonna they gonna get there. Is anybody adding to the Bible? You taking away the Bible from from the Bible? They gonna get there. Don't don't even don't even worry about it. They gonna get there. But don't be deceived and even you know don't even look at the NIV. Just if you got it, trash. Throw it right in the trash. Just key takeaway. Not even the key takeaway. It's just one key takeaway. The NIV is a blasphemous trash doctrine that should not be used by anyone. Nobody should use this. Nobody. I, you know, if you a baby Christian, you a baby believer in Jesus, you just started, don't even use this. You just throw it away. Don't use it. Just use a different version. There's a lot of versions out there. Um, 
some of them i haven't fully done researches on all of them because there's just really a whole bunch but this one is just definitely wrong do don't even entertain it and NIV, if you know somebody that got it again trash just throw it trash you do just like that in the trash the niv belongs in the